the relief of Holland. Following the daring but unsuccessful attempt to seize the bridge across the Rhine at Arnhem, during which Dutch railway workers went on strike, the railways were taken over by the German occupiers. Supplies of food and fuel were cut off to much of Holland. With very little food, tens of thousands of Dutch people starved to death. Without fuel to warm their homes on the coldest winter for many years, many also froze to death. Children searched for scraps of food in rubbish bins. People were reduced to eating sugar beet and even tulips. On the 29th of April 1945, Allied Air Forces commenced Operation Manor, dropping food from low-flying bombers over the Netherlands. The German occupying forces in Holland, being cut off from Germany by the Allied Army, came to a temporary agreement to allow this. 11,000 tonnes of food was dropped to the Dutch people, but this simply was not enough to feed a starving population of 4.5 million people. Ports were needed to supply food and humanitarian aid by ship. Under the command of Captain Hopper, having completed the monumental task of clearing the shelf of mines, the Wildfire 3 minesweepers were sweeping off the Dutch coast. Even before a ceasefire had been announced and the German army in Holland surrendered, the minesweepers turned east and swept into Rotterdam, Amoda and Den Helder. There is no doubt that the actions of the men of the minesweepers opening up the Dutch ports saved many thousands of Dutch lives. There are numerous recorded instances of the men of the Wild War Three minesweepers, the first vessels to arrive in Dutch ports, sharing their food with Dutch children. Many of the awards and citations given to the men of the Wildfire 3 minesweepers read Awarded for courage and determination while serving in HM minesweepers in clearing a passage into Rotterdam, Amoden and Den Helder, thereby making possible the swift relief of Holland.